Good afternoon. I'm Maria from Chicago News. Let's look at our weather for today. This morning it was cold and cloudy, but now it's beautiful outside. Right now it's 72 degrees, it's sunny, nice, and warm. Later tonight it will rain and the temperature will go down to 51 degrees. And there's more crazy weather coming this week. Let's look at our five-day forecast. Tomorrow, Tuesday, it will be sunny and warm, 77 degrees tomorrow. Then on Wednesday, it will snow. The temperature will go down to 31 degrees, a pretty cold day. On Thursday, there will be a big storm. Be careful. It will rain a lot and it will be very windy. The temperature will be about 56 degrees. On Friday, it will be a little windy and a little cloudy. The temperature will be 67 degrees. And on Saturday, it will snow again. The temperature will be 32 degrees. Welcome to the crazy weather in Chicago. Again, I'm Maria from Chicago News. Thanks for watching and have a good week. And there's more crazy weather coming this week. Let's look at our five day forecast. Tomorrow, Tuesday, it will be sunny and warm 77 degrees tomorrow. Then on Wednesday, it will snow. The temperature will go down to 31 degrees, a pretty cold day. On Thursday, there will be a big storm. Be careful. It will rain a lot and it will be very windy. The temperature will be about 56 degrees. On Friday, it will be a little windy and a little cloudy. The temperature will be 67 degrees. And on Saturday, it will snow again. The temperature will be 32 degrees. Welcome to the crazy weather in Chicago. Again, I'm Maria from Chicago News. Thanks for watching and have a good week. What time is it? A seemingly easy question. But at any given moment, the time will be different in different places in the world. While one person is waking up to breakfast at 7 a.m., another will be heading off to bed at 10 p.m. Local time all depends on what time zone you're in. A time zone is simply a region on Earth which is bound by longitudinal lines. These lines, sometimes called meridians, run vertically from the North to the South Pole, each 15 degrees apart. Meridians break the world into 24 time zones. A time difference of one hour per zone occurs with the rotation of the Earth. If it is, say, 2 p.m. at one meridian, 30 degrees west will be two time zones or two hours behind. So here, it would be high noon. Between zones 0 and 24 lies the international date line, where you cross from one day to the next. But who decided what time it was, and where? Whatever time it is now, it is the result of an historic event in 1884. 
At the International Meridian Conference, Canadian Sir Sanford Fleming proposed that time begin at Greenwich, London, a major trade and shipping hub of the time. Using Greenwich as the agreed universal meridian, the 24 time zones were established. What time is it? A seemingly easy question. But at any given moment, the time will be different in different places in the world. While one person is waking up to breakfast at 7 a.m., another will be heading off to bed at 10 p.m. Local time all depends on what time zone you're in. A time zone is simply a region on Earth which is bound by longitudinal lines. These lines, sometimes called meridians, run vertically from the North to the South Pole, each 15 degrees apart. Meridians break the world into 24 time zones. A time difference of one hour per zone occurs with the rotation of the Earth. If it is, say, 2 p.m. at one meridian, 30 degrees west will be two time zones or two hours behind. So here, it would be high noon. Between zones 0 and 24 lies the international date line, where you cross from one day to the next. But who decided what time it was and where? Whatever time it is now, it is the result of an historic event in 1884. At the International Meridian Conference, Canadian Sir Sanford Fleming proposed that time begin at Greenwich, London, a major trade and shipping hub of the time. Using Greenwich as the agreed universal meridian, the 24 time zones were established.